Wait, no. This doesn't look right at all. Trust me, we're in the right place. Here? We're gonna, we're gonna get mugged here. You're not gonna get mugged. You're? No, no, you're coming with me, right? No. It wasn't my New Year's resolution to lose weight. Plus, I've already been through their program. Now, get out. Wait, no, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It smells like homeless pee. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going. Stop not making no. excuses. Do you want this or not? Let's go. Let's go. Hello? 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 Hi, you looking for ink? Have a seat. Let's chit chat. Um, my friend just gave me his card. Oh, know. what a friend you have, <laughs> Miss. Oh, Cassie. Cassie. So, how long have you been trying to lose weight? How did you know that's why I'm here? Oh, that's the only reason we're in business. We help motivate people to achieve their goals and dreams, and our methods are 100% proven and guaranteed. They're guaranteed? So what is it, is it like a like a surgery or like an illegal drug? Or... <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't say drug. <laughs> it triggers some of our employees. Okay, so it's like a diet or what? You could call it a diet. Uh, diet from life. It's not a diet. Are you gonna kill me? No, no, not at all. I genuinely want to help people, and your safety is Ink's number one concern. Okay, so then what is it? Like, how are you gonna help me? We ink you. Ink. It's not kidnapping. Ink. <laughs> We wanted to go with short-term deliverance, but STD was not a big hit. <laughs> Neither was the movie Deliverance. Right. Okay, well, um, I think I gotta get going. Thank you so oh, much. No, 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 no. You just got here. I mean, you might as well stay and see how the rest of it works. Okay, but I don't understand how kidnapping helps anybody. It's not kidnapping. <laughs> For legal purposes, I really need you to know this. Okay, but the more that you keep saying that it's not kidnapping, the more that I keep thinking I'm really about to get kidnapped. But you haven't signed up yet. So you are going to kidnap me. That is a great question. <laughs> you see, at Inc., we recognize that people want to lose weight, but they lack the motivation and the drive to actually do it. Then they get caught up in their daily life, and they get busy, and kids, and dogs, and PTA meetings, and it just becomes a big thing. But once you've been inked... Kidnapped. It's not kidnapping. It's still a felony. Noted. But once you've been inked, notices are sent to your boss, your family, your friends, and your time is completely freed up because no one's going to blame you if you don't go to work because you're kidnapped. You just said kidnapped. Touche, Cassie. Touche. Okay. So you, you kidnap me. No. You ink me, whatever. And then I just... I just get time to work out? It's like a workout vacation or what? That was our original thought for Ink too. But we found that people got complacent and lazy in life and used Ink as an excuse to escape. And that was not good for business. Okay, so what did you do? One fortuitous day, my business partner Eddie and I had had it up to here with our clients. So we inked them. Kidnapped. No. Okay, look. I would feel a lot more comfortable and a lot less confused if you could just call it what it actually is. 
Cassie. Hey. It's not here, Cassie. It's Eve. Eve. Come on. So you inked them. So we inked them for real and encouraged them to fulfill and meet their goals. No way, that has got to be so illegal. Extremely. But they were so happy with their results, they never called the cops. Turns out that fear and adrenaline is a perfect combination for fat burning. And because we monitor your food and water so closely, you will never consume more calories than are necessary to survive. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're serious. Like, people actually do this, it actually works. Let me introduce you to one of our clients. <laughs> Eddie! Get my trace! Here, put this on. It really helps with the role play. Go on. Patrice! This is Patrice! How long have you been with us now, Patrice? Um, I think two weeks, except I don't actually know. I don't have any windows in my cell, and I really don't not have any I gave you that option at the beginning, and you declined it! <laughs> we have a lot of packages to choose from. Oh, are you thinking of getting ink? It's super awesome. Seriously, the best choice I've ever made. I've never been more motivated, and I'm already halfway to my goal. Stuart's a genius. Oh, you're so nice. Thank you. <laughs> but no one asked you, Patrice. Wait, can I ask her a question? Oh yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> so, like, what do you do every day? Oh, so every morning I get woken up with a really cold garden hose right to the face, and then it sprays me until I get out of my cot, and then at that point. <laughs> We la, 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 Eddie, she's giving away company secrets. Get her out of here, Eddie. Oh, really? Okay, well, it was really nice meeting you. You're... Ah! Bye. 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 Patrice is the nicest lady. You know she came in here at 300 pounds? You know, I try not to get attached to any of the clients because they're only with us for so much time, but, you know, I'm really going to miss Patrice. She's been here forever. But you know, she said it was only two weeks. Oh, she has lost all perception of time. That no windows thing is no joke. Okay, so what about my family? We leave a haiku ransom note to your family for an ungodly amount of money. No one can pay it. Okay, well surely they're gonna worry then. Not when they see you again. Especially the new you. Okay, but what about the cops? Because they could probably come looking for me, right? Meet our cop liaison, Jerry. What the? Where did you even come from? Where did he come from? The police are in on it too, ma'am. The signature haiku ransom note is actually our clue to know not to expend any resources in your search, but to give the appearance that we are trying real hard to find you when in fact we are not. Because we don't want to waste any of our city's tax dollars or Jerry's time. Am I right, Jerry? Okay. Bye, Jerry. Great guy, that Jerry. So, what do you think? You want to get inked? Okay, so you said that there were different packages. I did. It's wonderful. Everyone, come out here! Boys? You're gonna love this. And lady. No? Oh. Sorry. Maybe next maybe next time. Chin up, kid.
Cassie Smith. Cassie, thank you for sharing your incredible story with us. Mm -hmm. I can't imagine what that ordeal must have been like for you. Were you ever worried that you would never see your family again? Oh, I mean, well, no, like, I really hoped I would see them again, you know. Mostly I just didn't know if they'd recognize me, <laughs> you know. I, I did lose a lot of weight while I was being held captive, so. Um... Yeah, it's crazy. I feel like a whole new person. <laughs> well, you look wonderfully healthy. Thank you. <laughs> Joining us now is Dr. Stuart Abscond, licensed psychologist and expert in Stockholm Syndrome. Dr. Abscond. Hi, Cassie. Whoa, what the? What, what are you... Thanks for having me. 